Hello everybody, this is Nate Best, ComicBookMovie.com co-founder, and I wanted to do a little tutorial on the article creation for your posts. Uh, I actually rolled up an update last week and some users are having issues with it, so I wanted to go over a couple things. Uh, so I'm here, I'm in my article page, and I'm going to just go to this I Frankenstein. This is an older post that I did, and you'll see that nothing up here has changed. The change comes right here in the content field. So we're actually moved to a WYSIWYG editor that should make it easier for just about everybody. If you've used Word or anything like that, you should feel right at home with this. So the issue that users are having is with images and videos. Let's go over images first. So I've got this image here from iFrankenstein. If I want to change it, I can right click and say image properties. I can change the URL, I can change the width, the height, all of that stuff. The issue users are having, let's go ahead and delete this so we've got a little more room to work, is with putting new images in. And so I'm going to take this image here of Captain America, Steve Rogers. I'm going to copy the image URL. Okay. And if I come in here, I can click this button for a new image. I can put the URL in there, say OK. And there it is. Oh, I need to set the width and the height. So I'll come back. Image properties. Let's go 6, 640. It redoes the height for me. I'll say OK. All right, that looks a little better. OK, so I can use that image button for that. If I take that out, OK, the old way of doing it by putting the HTML in, I'll click source. Go in here and edit this. So I'm going to put an actual image tag here, image source equals, paste my URL, okay, nitty gritty, neat and dirty image tag right there. Let's say source so I can look at it again, there it is, okay, that would be the old way of doing it or if you've got co HTML code from a third party or another site, you, that's where you do it, you click source, paste it, and you're good to go. Okay, the other thing that you can do, which is new with this editor, is let's take another image. Let's copy that image. Okay, I can paste it, scroll in, it moves everything around, and there's my image. So super easy. If I want to change anything, okay, I can change the alignments, I can change the width, I can change the height. Okay, if I want to put an alternate text, if I want to play with the actual HTML, I can do that here in the source. So that's the issue users are having with images. The other issues users are having is with the YouTube embed codes or videos. So let's go ahead and take him back out, remove those spaces. And you notice you can do bulleted lists now, numbered lists, modify your hyperlinks. All of that is in there. Okay, iframes. So this is actually YouTube embed code for a trailer uh, for iFrankenstein. So if I right click on it, say properties, it'll say the width, the height, where this video is from. Okay, I'm gonna put that HTTP in there. YouTube always takes it out. Okay, so you notice it doesn't work in the preview, but when it's published, you'll see it. So you, you know what it looks like, you've seen it on YouTube, you should be fine. Now, where we're having trouble is you can't just copy and paste right here on this. So I'm, I'm going to delete this for right now. I'm going to go over to Guardians of the Galaxy trailer on our comic book movie videos, our YouTube channel. And I'm going to scroll down. I've already clicked share. I got the embed code. So I'm going to right click, copy. And what most people want to do is take that and just paste it right in the field. And it comes through showing like that, which obviously isn't what people want. Okay, so I'm going to come through. I'm going to undo that. What you need to do is go into the source. Okay, so similar to the ways you can put the embed codes in and image tags in if you've got it from somewhere else. I'm going to go into the source. I've got to put the actual HTML in here. So let's see. There's my block quote, a few line breaks. Now I can paste that in. Okay, so it's got the iframe, the YouTube stuff. We'll put the HTTP in there. Go back to source and you'll see there's the iframe. Okay, so that's the YouTube embed code. So that's it in a nutshell. Those are the two biggest issues that I've been getting feedback and questions on from users. If you have anything else, 
leave comments below. We'll try and keep track of them. Or you can contact Jim or myself from the website on the contact page here. You'll see we've got both myself, Nate Best, Jim Littler, right here as well as the webmaster articles contents. Those also go to Jim and myself. So any feedback, any questions, get a hold of us. Let us know and we'll, we'll help you get it worked out.